Hi, this is Pickle Pong Dev. Today's episode is being tall or being short. There is a difference. Short players have a couple of problems. Their reach and their mobility. They need better mobility to cover more ground than the taller person who has the stretch and the reach. So it's, it's important for short people to get moving. Get those feet moving so you have to work a lot harder at your footwork than the taller person who can just stretch and reach that ball. So we're going to do a few things that make me feel tall because I am 4 feet 11 in my stocking feet. I hate to say it, but that's the truth. Here we go. I'm tall. I'm a foot taller than my 4'11 frame. So therefore I can reach a lot further if I cheat a little and step in the, the non-volley zone. So this is an example of my imagining I'm being tall. And I want that ball to bounce. So my partner, who's a bit taller than I am, cannot reach it. So it's important to get the ball shallow shallow in its flight over the net, shallow in its flight over the net, so they can't reach. Because if they can reach it, you know they can hit it. So continuing with that theme, we're going to make each other move in the box with a little bit of spin, a little bit of twist and turns, with that touch, getting it over the net, keeping it shallow so they cannot reach it. the importance of coming up under the ball. Up under the ball, but not going so deep with the touch. in review what it's like to be tall of course what we were doing was totally illegal standing in the non-volley zone but it just goes to the point of how shallow the flight of the ball is or needs to be against taller people before they can reach it on the fly so what you want to do against most opponents is make the ball bounce in front of them so that they cannot reach it and kill you with it <laughs> 